our annual cycle happening this Sunday. We started last year. Uh, it was very successful. I think we had 320 people on bikes last year um, around this time of year. So we're looking forward to having a good day. Whether the weather mightn't be hectic, but still we're open to have loads of people out on bikes. There are various distances. Uh, it's a family day out. And uh, we're really looking forward to a good day again. What kind of distances are we talking about? So we have a 120k um, race. It's, I suppose, stretching from Ballina all the way down to Portumna, starting in Pucon, going, going north and making its way back around by Portumna. So it's for, for more experienced cyclists. There's also an 80k race, a 50k race, and then you're down to the family type cycles where you have 25 and 10k's. So... We're looking for various degree, varying degrees of cyclists and abilities, but it should be a great day. There's also a few local characters and a few local people on high nellies and tandem bikes and whatnot, so it should be a great day for all. Yeah, well, it was nice to have a bit of crack in it as well, and uh, you seem to have it well catered for there as well, because you, you, you do want the families to come along and get involved, uh, but you don't want them to be absolutely knackered by the end of it either. Yes, exactly. I suppose one... Like most clubs in Tipperary, we uh, base ourselves around inclusion and this is just one event, even though it's a fundraising event for the it's a fundraising event for the club, it's run in conjunction with Pieta House, so it's a, I suppose a charity that is very close to us and uh, it's you know, obviously with the situation in Ireland at the moment, it's a very important charity, so uh, we're delighted to be running in conjunction with Pieta House this Sunday. And it is, it's a it's a day for everybody. We, we're hoping to get families out. There's always a good buzz around there on the morning time to be a bit of music and a bit of, uh, there's a barbecue and things like that, a bit of food for the cyclists. So it should be a great day. Brilliant stuff. And I talked to yourself, Mike. Um, there is uh, the charitable aspect of it. It's in conjunction with Pieta House and a fundraiser for the club as well. And so do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I suppose um, in the past few years we've taken on charities on board with Kildang and GA Club and um, we feel we need as a community to, not just to make money for the club but I suppose to try give it back to the charities that are out here. Last year we've we done it with uh, TLC, this year we went with Pieta House because as Dara previously mentioned they're a fantastic cause. We've all been touched by somebody involved in it as well and same with the, the Irish Cancer Society and the North Tip Hospice and stuff like that. We try take three charities every year and we try to invest maybe five to eight thousand back in into those charities last year we did it as i said we give a few thousand back uh, to three different charities and we're, we're hoping to do the same with pieta this year we have another event coming in uh, june which is uh, uh stars in your eyes there is involved in it as well there and that'll be going to the north tip hospice and then we'll have another event uh again in conjunction with another charity we haven't decided yet from the club's point of view who will go it but we feel as a community it's not just all about getting the money in for for the club we need to give back to these charities the people that are out there as well supporting us as well yeah well it works on so many levels because you have the charitable aspect of it you have the the fun event and uh, it's also a healthy event and that's that's very very important as well yeah definitely um i'm a school teacher there actually in the village in pokon and you know kids were leaving there this evening and we could have 30 to 40 kids from our school on bikes on Sunday morning. Not saying they wouldn't be on them anyway, but you'd be hoping that they might get a good, you know, good appetite for it from an event like this. And it's, you know, it's great. We have there is an issue in Ireland at the moment. Uh, there's lots of studies, and you know that kids mightn't be getting as active as as they may have been 20, 30 years ago. But there's loads of things happening. There's cycles. There's, um, you know, there's walk to school. All this, all these type of events. So. It's just to give the kids the appetite to get out there, get a bit of fresh air and do whatever activity they want, you know, just get out and do something. Oh, brilliant stuff. So uh, just the time and registration and if people want more information on uh, the race itself. Yeah, registration is, is still open online until tonight. Um, we'll be taking registration in Pocon in the GA field tomorrow from uh, one o'clock on. And then the, the races, well, we won't call them races because some lads like to get a bit competitive. So we call them the cycle will be uh, starting the 120k will be starting from 10 o'clock on they'll be going then basically every hour after that and uh, look at I suppose if we can invite everyone to come down uh, enjoy the day and hopefully we'll we'll get you up on the bike even if you haven't been up and one in many years we'll push you around anyway and you can feel part of it a brilliant stuff well congratulations on putting the event together and I wish you every success with it on Sunday and don't forget to put out the child of Prague I think someone most certainly needs to put out the child of Prague but lads thanks very much so that is uh, Mike Ryan and Dara Egan from um, Killadangan GA Club and talking about their fun are happening this Sunday. So thanks very much, lads. Thank you. Thanks. And now you are tuned to Tip FM's home run. Let's go with some.